it's too late to apologize now. You already done wasted too much of my time. This man, let's start off with this comment. This man literally says, yes, infinite strength. As I've agreed with multiple times, infinite strength is shown when he keeps going higher and higher. Like, are you actually just losing it now or what? Because I've never once said Saitama didn't have infinite strength. Oh, really? This man has been arguing that Saitama doesn't actually have infinite strength as in just straight up infinite, but infinite strength. Strength as in infinite growth. That's what he's been arguing this entire time. But yet he's been trying to make it sound like he hasn't. So let's go ahead and read these comments. <laughs> Whew. Here it is. He has infinitely progressing strength. Meaning anyone who's stronger than him will just have to beat him faster than he progresses past him. Or anyone who's a higher dimension than he is can beat him too. Dude, you're literally implying that he doesn't straight up have infinite strength, but infinitely progressing strength. They are not the same thing. But yeah, you said you never said Saitama didn't have infinite strength. But here you are saying he has infinitely progressing strength. Let's keep it moving. And of course, I got to read my comments too. So y'all can see what I was actually saying. Nor your conclusion isn't correct. He has infinite strength and infinite growth. New info from the creator made a website showing some of the stats of all the One Punch Man characters. And Saitama has the infinity symbol by his strength. So you need to look at Saitama with a different thought process that's not your own. Somebody came under my video and told me, hey, that information came out 2017. And I'm glad he told me that this information came out in 2017. 17 which i was able to implement that info while i was arguing with this dude so he told me that about because i'm looking at it right now on my laptop two hours ago and don't worry i'm gonna break down the question that he asks after i make this video so if i'm saying the info is new Pardon me because I didn't know it came out in 2017, which makes my argument that much better. Okay, yes, he has infinite growth. I'm using the manga's thought process. So that conclusion I'm using my own would actually be incorrect. Manga shows the graph. He's not already at infinity. He grows infinitely. Also, there is a thing called context clues. You see how this man just straight up denying he's not already at infinity, but yet he says he never denied that Saitama didn't have infinite strength. My boy, the comments don't lie. If you were smart, you would have hurried up and edited this out, but seems like you're not so bright. Also, there's a thing called context clues. We have the context clues from the literal source material itself. The manga that his infinite strength works as the graph shows. So the website saying he has infinite strength doesn't change the fact it grows. It just furthers the notion he has infinite strength in the context that it grows infinitely. So my point still stands. Also, my other point that someone on a higher dimension than him would beat him also stands. Let's keep reading. Wait a minute. You sat here and read everything I said and still have the nerve to say he only has infinitely progressing strength. Get lost. Don't waste my time. If you're not going to actually sit to all of the factual information, don't bother replying to me. It's been revealed that this man literally has infinite strength as well. And here you come talking about something. He only has infinite growth. 
Sit down somewhere, man. You're not the creator of One Punch Man. Here I am spreading information that just came out not too long ago, and all you're doing is deny that information. Stay in your lane. You're nothing but a random fan. If you're going to talk about One Punch Man and his power, make sure you spread the up-to-date information. That's out. Don't just stick to what you believe. Again, this was before I learned two hours ago that this info came out in 2017. Yes, I do. Because I can either listen to you or the source material, which is strange. You rebuke that other person for seemingly putting his word as top priority when now you're seemingly doing the same. Anyways, I already agree he has infinity strength. So you're just so you're either just looking for someone to yell at for the sole purpose of yelling at someone or you didn't read what I said. I stuck to all the factual information and I didn't deny anything you said. You're making that up. But anyways, like I said, context clues is this. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You're literally denying that he literally has infinite strength and you're substituting it with infinite growth. They are not the same thing. There are. I'm going to make a future video showing y'all a bunch of characters who literally has infinite strength and infinite growth. Because these motherfuckers, motherfuckers like him, don't read or watch a lot of fiction with super overpowered characters like this. You, your comments directly prove that Th this is why what i'm saying to this guy is completely foreign it it's, it's completely foreign he's taking the graph that was made in 2017 and the graph that was made in the most recent battle and saying hey they're one and the same but if you have knowledge and fiction you would know they aren't the same. You got so many other characters out there who literally have already have infinite power, but yet their power is literally still growing. This is literally Saitama's situation. This isn't new to fiction. It's new to a lot of other people because they're not aware of these other characters, but this isn't new in fiction. It just so happened that One Punch Man is super popular. But let's continue reading. No, you didn't. You literally said infinitely progressing strength. You did not sit here and say he has infinite strength. There is a difference and you need to learn it. And my word is the actual factual information. His word was simply his opinion. Learn the difference. There is a difference. You're right. And I already pointed that out and made that clear in my first comment. So again, if you're going to argue, you should read what's being said. Saitama has infinite strength in a sense that it grows infinitely. Source, the manga itself, which is above you. The website says he has infinite strength, but it doesn't say in what sense. Do. That shit so literally simple and to the point. I'm going to completely cover this information in a later video. That word right there is literally strength and it has an affinity simple by it. What this man is indicating is pure fucking head cannon. These graphs are not the same. He says the website says he has infinite strength, but it doesn't say in what sense. Yes, it makes it so fucking clear and simple. All that extra this guy is adding is all fucking headcanon. So the website doesn't debunk the manga saying that it grows. You just assume that such. Like you said yourself, there is a difference. So prove the website's different. Difference was infinite strength in the sense that you're arguing it because so far that's only been your opinion. L let me tell y'all something. When something as simple as a graph that's being shown like that. With the affinity symbol and the word strength. That's what it is. 
all of this extra what he's doing by trying to connect the most recent graph to a 2017 graph you're using head cannon at this point you're using head cannon at this point one graph shows Saitama's strength being infinite it doesn't say infinite in the sense as infinite growth if it did if that's what the graph actually meant it would have said so but it didn't but this man wouldn't stop arguing that into the ground and now he slipped up so much now i gotta cover this in a video like i'm doing right now all you did was literally double down that he just has infinite growth the website literally says infinite strength it says nothing less nothing more it does not say infinite growth. You're the one adding in he only has infinite growth. You're the one that's trying to override the information that the website gave us. So I read what you said perfectly clear. It's you that's trying to take the information and flip it on its head. Saitama both has infinite strength and infinite growth. And the manga has told us on three separate occasions that Saitama power is literally limitless. What you're failing to understand at the end of the day this is fiction. The creator can do what he wants with it. And with this new information that puts out Saitama's strength parameter is literally infinite. Like I said, I didn't know this came out in 2017. And that's what it literally says. If the creator wanted it to say infinite growth, then that's what it would have said. But no, it literally just says infinite strength. So that's what it is. He has both infinite strength and infinite growth. This dude doesn't stop. As you said before, there is a difference. So now you're backtracking. There is no backtracking that I'm doing here. It's the way you're reading what the fuck I'm saying. Prove the website meant infinite strength as in he already has it and isn't growing into it. Bitch, it literally says the word strength with the infinity symbol. Ain't no growth symbol there. Ain't they, 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 they didn't specify that he's growing into it. That is head cannon on your part. It's like this dude don't understand what head cannon is. He, he, he doesn't understand. I watched a video earlier that one of my subscribers wanted me to debunk and he mentioned what this is called i forgot the word exactly but it went something like you're applying that information with another set of information when they they're they're just not the same i'm gonna have to relook at that video and see what he said but this is what that guy is doing he's taking evidence from a most recent graph and applying that evidence to the 2017 graph that literally just says strength and shows the affinity symbol and using that info to say the graph actually means infinite growth. Like, my guy, you're overriding what the graph actually says. But let's continue. And he already has it and isn't growing into it. The fact is, oh, let's remember. He said he didn't deny that Saitama has infinite strength. But yet, here you are denying that Saitama actually has infinite strength. That's funny. These are your comments, not mine. The fact it doesn't specify means it's just your opinion and that it's context clues to what the manga said about it being growth. Nah, 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 nah. It makes it simple and clear. Yes, you're right. It is limitless. And it showed us what it meant by limitless. When it showed us the graph. Again, I'm not going to take your word over the source material. You're failing to realize I know the creator can do what he wants. That's common sense. 
the creator is doing something that he isn't doing prove it's both when you already said there's a difference see you backtracking again there's an assumption i'm saying there's a difference off of what your ass said you made it sound like saitama doesn't have infinite power in the literal sense and you're arguing that Saitama's so-called infinite strength is just literally infinite growth and yet and that he doesn't actually have infinite strength the way you're phrasing your words and based on your other comments I put together it's easy to conclude that what you're saying is not the same thing so you're sitting here trying to make it sound like I'm backtracking when in reality I'm referring to what you said not being the same thing. There is no backtracking over here. You're the one that's making You're the one that's making this situation complex. You're the one talking about context clues and all this when it simply says strength with the infinity symbol. And that's what it said. Nowhere did it say anything about growth. I'm not the one putting my own spin to that information. You are. You're not sticking to the factual information. As is you're adding to it. Which is headcanon. The graph showed three things. And one of them was strength with the infinity symbol. If the graph was talking about growth, it would have said growth, but it didn't say growth. It just said strength with the infinity symbol. So based on the information, Saitama has infinite strength and infinite growth. Stop adding in your own headcanon to the mix, talking about some context clues, this and that. And I didn't backtrack on anything I said. Like someone told me over two years ago, if something isn't clearly stated, then don't assume as such. To do so would be headcanon. You have up in your head that Saitama can't be infinite if his power is still growing, which I say to you, that's your line of thinking. You're not trying to understand the creator's information for what it is. You're putting your own spin on it. So unless that website literally said in that graph infinite growth, then it's not infinite growth. It's infinite strength like it displayed. It wouldn't be so complicated if you weren't backtracking. Even you yourself said there's a difference. Yes, to what you said earlier on. So if you now say that there isn't and that there's only one meaning, that's a backtrack. Yes, context clues, because otherwise you would be saying the manga is wrong, which is also source material. Yes, it did say something about growth. The manga did and showed it, so no, you're wrong. It did say something about growth. Nope. The graph shows Saitama growing, going higher and higher, not already being at infinity. You see? This man has been denying that Saitama's strength it's infinite this entire time. He's been denying it the, whole, the entire time. And arguing in the sense that his power just infinitely grows and that his power isn't actually infinite. You see the stupid mind games like people like people like him play, bro? It's been so long since I did one of these exposed videos. Since debunking Josh, it's like... <sighs> But I've just been so busy enjoying life. That's why I haven't been really making videos and all that good stuff. But let's continue. The manga did and showed it, so no, you're wrong. It did say something about growth. Nope. The graph shows Saitama going higher and higher, not already being at infinity. So saying it didn't is headcanon that you added. If the graph was talking about growth, it would have showed growth, which it did with Saitama going higher and higher. So point stands. So what we can gather from this is you disregard other source material information. If you don't like it and only pay attention to other source material information, if you do like it, you're cherry picking between the source material information well then practice what you preach because you're assuming it's infinite strength in the sense that he's already at infinity when the manga shows that he's growing 
See what he doing? See what he doing? He's overriding what one graph says with another. In his little head of his, he can't possibly fathom that Saitama can have both infinite strength and infinite growth. Ooh, that is so unheard of in fiction. That is so unheard of. That's why he's literally overriding one graph source with the other. With the other. All throughout this series, Boros has called Saitama limitless. Child Emperor Device made it clear that Saitama is limitless. In the most recent fight with Garo, depending on which translation you use, Garo literally says Saitama is infinitely strong. But depending on another translation, Garo says limitlessly strong. So based on the context, infinitely strong and limitlessly strong are exactly the same thing. Based on that context, it is. This man got up in his head that, oh, since his power grows, he's not infinitely strong. He hasn't got to infinitely strong yet. Despite the 2017 graph literally showing, hey, strength with the infinity symbol. How much head cannon do you have to apply to override that information for more than what it actually is? Make it make sense. Let's continue. False. I'm not cherry picking any information. It's you that's not understanding me. He has both infinite growth and infinite strength. What part of this is so hard for you to comprehend? I didn't dismiss any information. It's you that's putting one over the other. You sitting here talking about some he didn't reach infinite strength yet. But the graph clearly says his strength is infinite. While the manga at the same time shows that his power is growing, his power literally never stops growing. That's what we learned in the conclusion when he battled against Garo. While the graph on this website clearly shows his strength being infinite at the same time, you're literally sitting here putting your own spin on it by saying he hasn't reached infinity yet. And you're sitting here concluding that the graph actually means infinity as in growth when the graph literally does not say that. It literally just says strength with the infinity symbol by it. And going off of the information in the manga, damn this video long, it also lets us know that his power literally never stops growing. So with this information, it's made clear that he has infinite growth and infinite strength at the same time. What you're doing is literally applying your own head cannon to override the graph. You're adding more information to it than what's actually there. You're the one that's wrong here. You're the one that's not sticking to the factual information, as is you're the one that's cherry picking info. And nowhere did I backtrack. You're just not smart enough to comprehend what I'm saying. So you're interpreting it as me backtracking. When I'm clearly saying he has both infinite growth and infinite strength. You're simply reading to just respond instead of reading to understand. You say you're sticking to the factual information. But you're literally putting your own spin on it. That's literal head cannon territory that you're diving into. So you're saying the official manga is wrong. I said no such thing. I'm actually saying both sources are right. Okay, well, anyways, prove he has both. I'm going to take a page out of your book and replicate what you said earlier. Did it say he had both? No, it said just infinite strength. And as you admitted... There's a difference. So prove it. Prove it's not context clues to what the manga said. Nah, you did backtrack. <laughs> oh man, at this point in time, I wish I knew that information was from 2017. But now that I know, you've definitely fucking lost. But let's continue. Because you admit it, there's a difference, and now you're pretending there isn't. 
Nah, for me and the other person, your immediate response was to insult. That objectively proves you're only responding to yell at people. False. False. I educate people and yell at them at the same time. You can do both. Don't you just hate those people that be like, oh, since you're insulting me, that means you lost the argument. No, I'm insulting you because you're saying stupid shit. And overriding information. That's why I'm insulting you. But let's continue. The grab during the fight with Garo showed that his power was growing, proving he had no limit to his growth. While the graph on the website showed that his strength was just straight up infinite. So that's what it is. It's literally both. They said in the manga way too many times that Saitama is limitless. So that's what I'm going by. I'm not going to sit here and override this information with my very own head cannon the way you're doing it. You're the one sitting here talking about some context clues when the information is simple and to the point. If it was simply one or the other, it would have been made clear. But that's not what it is. It's literally both. And when I said there's a difference, I was referring to what you said about the wording you used. I broke down what you did. So stop trying to sit here and make it seem like I'm backtracking when I didn't backtrack at all. Yeah, so one graph shows him going higher and higher, which is still limitless. And the website says the graph is infinite. <laughs> the website does not literally say the graph is infinite. You have to come to that conclusion based on all the other information from the past. How Saitama removed his limiter. How he's able to defeat himself from a day ago. That's how you can come to the conclusion that his power literally never stops growing. He don't even got to do anything for his power to grow. The shit is just passive. But let's continue. You just proved this contest clues, but anyways, nah, let's go with your logic. You don't understand my logic to go with it, but let's continue. Did the manga say it was both strength and growth when they showed the graph? Did the website say it was both when it showed the graph? Then by your own admission, you're wrong. Shut your dumb ass up. You're trying to go by my logic, but in order to go by my logic, you need to understand what the fuck I'm saying. Which you clearly don't. The wording I used was infinite strength and infinite growth. I had already clarified them earlier. So no, incorrect. My guy, you clarify that Saitama has infinite growth. He doesn't have infinite strength. You clarify that he hasn't grown into infinity. That's what you clarified. The comment, your comments don't lie. You wrote those, not me. We're almost at the finish line. Damn. Sweet mother of God, you're not bright at all. The graph, what was in the manga and the graph that is on the website are two different graphs. But here you're literally making it sound like I'm using one graph to override the other when that is not what I'm doing. You're literally reading what I say and taking it how you want to take it. You're not reading to actually understand what I'm saying. So no, I did not prove that it's context clues. And in order for you to use my logic, you have to actually understand my logic, which you haven't understood this entire time. So let me make so let me make break this down for you. So even you can understand. The manga made it clear that Saitama power does not stop growing. While on the other hand, this new website that was approved by the creator came out in 2017 my bad folks literally shows a graph showing Satama strength with the infinity symbol so the information from the manga and with the information from this new website it's made clear that Saitama literally has limitless growth and infinite strength i'm not using one to override the other you've been doing that the entire time talking about some oh based on the context clues the graph actually means infinite growth 
but yet the graph doesn't say growth it says strength I can't make this up you're right I'm not trying to understand why would I try to understand headcanon get the fuck out of here the graph are totally different prove it as long as they have correlation to each other the website graph is still context clues to what the manga show so prove they don't have correlation the fact they both talk about Saitama limitless power is all the proof I need on my end <laughs> let's continue the graph literally doesn't say growth it literally just says strength with the infinity symbol. You're the one that's applying headcanon. You're not understanding if it was really just infinite growth. That's what the graph would have said. It wouldn't have put strength with the infinity symbol. What part of this aren't you comprehending? If Saitama didn't have infinite strength, that graph wouldn't have had strength with the infinity symbol by it. You're the one that's literally sitting here adding more information than what's actually there. I'm not using headcanon, you are. Yeah, I wonder why. It's because it's context clues, as I've been saying. Again, prove otherwise. That's the second time asking. Prove your stance. Bitch, I don't need to prove a stance. It literally shows strength with an infinity symbol. It doesn't say growth. While on the other hand, you got a completely other different graph. That's literally showing you, hey, his power never stops growing. You got information from one graph of the creator directly telling you, hey, this motherfucker's strength is infinite. And then you got other information in the manga showing you, hey, Saitama doesn't have a limiter and his power literally never stops growing. One graph telling you and showing you, hey, strength is infinite. And the other graph letting you know his power literally never stopped growing. And depending on his emotions, it changes the speed of that growth. They're different. That is the proof, by the way. Oh, you want to go by what's said? Then here we go again. Did the manga say it was both? Where they showed the graph on the manga. Did it say both when they showed the graph on the website? Then point stands by your logic. Prove your point. You can't use somebody else's logic when you don't understand their logic. You want me to tell you why your way of thinking? Oh, this is basically where I'm like, oh man, I got to switch it up to expose this fool. And this is why I reply it this way. You want me to tell you why your way of thinking doesn't work? Because according to your logic, Saitama is never going to grow into infinity. Since his power never stops growing. You're talking about some prove this and prove that. You're the one that's adding to the information while I'm simply sticking to what's being shown and said. Oh, you, you see how I said? I'm simply sticking to what's being shown and said. Y'all see how I said shown and said? I want y'all to remember that. No, you're adding to it because it never said both. And you never. And you said you only go by what said. No. I said shown and said. He's not even reading what I'm saying. So another backtrack. Ain't no backtracking here. Saitama only has infinite strength in the sense that it grows unless proven otherwise my dude the graph i can't make this shit up i can't make this how are you so full of yourself that you're literally overriding what the graph shows and says two different graphs display two different things and you're using one graph to override the other because you still haven't Proven, the graphs don't correlate. And earlier on, you said they were different. They are different. 
They are different. And it's painfully obvious that it's both. Saitama power is literally never going to stop growing. While on the flip side, Saitama also already has infinite strength. You're the one that's cherry picking information. And you got up in your head that since Saitama power is still growing, it's not infinite. When all of the other facts or information throughout the interviews and that's in the manga. I put mango there. I meant to say manga. Point to Saitama strength already being limitless. You got up in your head that it has to be one or the other. But the reality is when you look at all of the other, all of the factual information, it's literally both. He has both limitless growth and infinite strength. Show me where it says the graph correlates. That's you that's implying that they correlate. Nope. You said you only go by what's said. I said I go by what's said and shown. You're cherry picking what I say. And it didn't say both infinite growth and infinite strength. In one graph, it lets you know that Saitama grows and that his growth went unnoticed. Combine that with the information about the limiter and the explanation of the limiter. And combine that with the fact that Saitama is able to beat himself from a day ago. That brings you to the conclusion that his power, he does have infinite growth. He does have infinite growth. Nope, you said you only go by what's said, and it didn't say both infinite growth and infinite strength. Prove the grouse are different like you claim. At this point, it's already a concession. Fuck off. The explanation about the limiter makes it clear that Saitama literally has limited growth. And the most recent battle made it clear that Saitama power never stops growing. Now looking at the information from the website, this graph literally shows Saitama's strength with the infinity symbol. So unless it's stated that they are both the same, then you are implying that they have a direct correlation. Which is headcanon. You've concluded that he only has limitless growth. Which is false because the graph on the website shows his strength with the infinity symbol. You're literally overriding that with your own headcanon and making assumptions. Your argument doesn't work unless you make assumptions. While mine on the other hand, I don't need assumptions. One graph shows his power growing nonstop while the other just straight up says his strength is infinite. So the only conclusion that you can come to that doesn't involve headcanon and assumptions is that he has both. Even with information that's straight, that's simple and to the point, you always going to have somebody that come up with the argument to override what the fuck's being shown and said. You just proved it's context clues again, and you also prove they correlate. Manga shows the graph of Saitama infinite power as shown with him going higher and higher, and then the website shows a graph saying it's infinite, so thanks. You just proved they correlate as they both refer to Saitama's infinite power. Now prove they're different. This man is studied trying to argue infinite in the sense as simply growing. He's been dismissing Saitama having infinite power this whole time and that he only has infinite growth. But yet you got two different graphs saying and showing you two different things. I accept your concession. The conclusion you came to requires assumptions and headcanon, while my conclusion does not require assumptions nor headcanon. This graph was simple and to the point, but here you came in and making it complicated, talking about some context clues and this and that and how they correlate. Again, you just prove it's context clues again, and you also prove they correlate. Manga shows the graph of Saitama's infinite power as shown with him going higher and higher, and then the website shows a graph saying it's infinite. So thanks, you just prove they correlate as they both refer to Saitama's infinite power. Now prove they're different. He's just basically repeating himself at this point. This info literally proved that his growth has no limit and that his power is infinite. You literally saying that he only has infinite growth is a direct contradiction to the graph itself. And you're literally calling this info a lie. You're cherry picking. Saitama has both limitless strength 
limitless growth and infinite strength. Yes, exactly. His power is infinite in the sense that it grows and it proves. But yet you didn't deny him having infinite strength. Okay. You even proved that yourself. Correction, I said I go by what's said and shown. Stop, stop cherry picking what I say. And then you went on to prove the graph correlate and that it's context clues. Nah, homie. Nah, stop twisting my words. The graphs are different. One graph was made to show that Saitama has infinite strength. And the other graph was made to show that Saitama power never stops growing. They are not the same. The graph literally says strength with infinity symbol while the graph in the main literally shows just shows his power skyrocketing. And one graph has an infinity symbol while the other graph just shows his power skyrocketing. Both graphs are different. One graph showed you how fast his power can skyrocket, while the other one just straight up told us his strength is infinite. They are different from each other. You're the one that's using what's been shown in the manga to override what's on the website. If it was infinite growth, the graph would have said infinite growth, but it didn't. This shouldn't even be an argument. That's you that's trying to deny the information. You're adding in extra information that's not there. Instead of coming to the simple conclusion that he has both infinite strength and that his power literally never stops growing. It shows his power rising and rising, which is also is infinite. Infinite doesn't end. You're still just proving its context clues. Depending on... How you want to look at infinity, which different works of fiction look at infinity differently. You got some characters, once they reach infinity, they're just straight up infinite. Their power don't grow or anything. And then you got some other works of fictions, the way they interpret infinity as, oh, my character has infinite power, but yet his power still grows. There are many examples of these different types of characters throughout fiction, which I said earlier, I'm going to make a video covering. Because this motherfucker don't... This... Ooh, man. It shows his power rising and rising, which is also infinite. Infinite doesn't end. You're still just proving its context clues, man. There's nothing to override because the website doesn't agree with you. It's context clues. My guy, the website does agree with me because i'm only sticking to what the website is saying i'm not sitting here talking about some oh based on the context clues from the manga it actually means infinite growth this is where i really switch it up to get him to screw up so you telling me so you telling me the website is a lie and that his strength is not infinite and what that website actually meant to say was infinite potential. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying the website saying his power is infinite is just context clues to what the manga already said and showed. Especially since you keep saying I only go by what's said. I said I go by what's said and shown. Well, again, they didn't say infinite growth and infinite strength. That's why I keep saying you're backtracking. This dude's beyond retribution. Dude, you're literally saying without saying that the website is wrong, meaning you're overriding the creator himself. You're literally trying to go about it in a roundabout way, saying that if you look at the context clues and depending on which at the context clues. And depending on which website you go on, Viz, for example, Garo literally says Saitama is infinitely strong, while other sources say limitlessly. So, in the correct context, Saitama's growth is infinite and his strength is also infinite. Like I said, you've been using headcanon to override what's being shown on the website. I accept your concession. I've been debating for a hot minute and I know how to get people to slip up. I screenshot all of your comments between you and I, and they're going in the video. I won't be reading any more of your replies. You wasted too much of time, which I faltered on, and I had to read more of his replies because the ridiculousness. 
prove you speak for the creator. I never said I speak for the creator. Till then, that point debunks itself. You ain't debunk shit. You don't know the creator's interpretation. No, bitch. But you sit here talking about some that graph. It, 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 it means context clues. Bitch, shut the fuck up. You're the one that's trying to put your own spin and interpretation on it. You're the one that's doing that. You are. Saying the website was context clues isn't saying it's wrong. It's your head headcanon that the website is meaning what you say. No, I'm simply sticking to what it's saying and showing. Ain't no headcanon there. Which is why you're backtracking so much. Ain't no backtracking. Nothing I said wasn't infinite strength, so I don't know what point you're trying to make. Again, did it say infinite strength and growth? No. Then by your own logic, you're incorrect. Shut the fuck up. These retarded mind games get you nowhere. They, they, they get you fucking nowhere. I done broke you down at this point. I done broke you down. You literally admitted without admitting... That the website don't know what the fuck it's talking about. Oh, it actually meant infinite growth. But yet, it doesn't say infinite growth. It literally just says strength with the infinity symbol. If it meant infinite growth, it would have added in growth. This is what headcanon is. When something says something, but yet you go out of your way to imply, oh, this is what it actually means. That's fucking headcanon. Sweet Jesus. Tell me what does the graph on the website say again and show again. Strength with the finishing symbol by it? Oh yeah, I know, so I don't care what you say. And then in the most recent battle, Saitama's strength skyrocketed, proving that he also has no limit to his growth. And that's what it is. So he has both infinite strength and no limit to his growth. And depending on which translation you want to use, Garo literally said Saitama is infinitely strong. And in another translation, he said limitlessly strong. And based on the context, they both mean the same thing. Limitlessly as in infinite and infinite as in limitless. Proving that the graphs are different. He both has limitless growth and infinite strength. Exactly. Which is exactly why it's context clues to Saitama's infinite strength. That was shown in the manga on the graph. So thanks again. This is about the fifth or something time you prove yourself that it's context clues. Nah, homie. That's you trying to flip my words upside down. Yeah, I've been saying Saitama had infinite strength this whole time. So move on. No, the fuck you haven't. No, the fuck you haven't. You've been saying he has infinite growth, not infinite strength. And you need to prove that you speak for the creator. Talking about the graph on the website is context clues. The graph is simple and easy to understand. There ain't no interpretation needed here. You're the one that's coming to that conclusion. You don't speak for the creator. So you take what he gives you, which is a graph with the word, with the word strength. I put words, but I actually meant to put word. Strength and then infinity symbol. So that's what it is. It doesn't say growth. And on the other hand, in the manga, you literally see Saitama power skyrocketing. The only logical conclusion that you can come to without adding in your own headcanon is that the graphs are different. Well, unlike you, I'm not claiming to know what the creator's interpretation is. So, no, I don't. You, you fucking are, though. You're implying that you know what the interpretation is by saying, oh, it's context clues from the manga. So what that graph on the website is actually saying is actually saying infinite growth, not actually infinite strength. Bitch, you straight up overriding what the graph is literally showing and saying. You're doing that. You're the only one saying things like you're overriding the creator when you yourself don't even know the creator's interpretation. But you are right. The graph is easy to understand. That's why the other person you argued with was saying the same thing. The graph is so easy to understand that it's crazy. The graph says Saitama's strength is infinite with the infinity symbol. The literal infinity symbol. And yes, you are overriding the creator's info. You got one graph that literally shows Saitama power skyrocketing in the manga. And then the other 
on the website, the graph literally shows that his power is infinite. The man doesn't have a limiter, so it will only make perfect sense for his strength to be infinite, while at the same time, his growth literally never stops. The graphs are different. You're the one who came out of nowhere talking about some context who's this and that and making this information complicated when it was so simple to see and understand. Unless the graph from the website literally says infinite growth, then do not assume talking about some context clues that it actually means infinite growth. It said infinite strength, and as for the manga, that graph shows Saitama power skyrocket. Showing that his power never stops growing, so that's what it is. Both of these graphs are legit. Stop trying to override run over the other. Yep, a graph showing Saitama rising, showing off his infinite power. And then the website shows a graph with the infinity symbol. So great, you've proved its context clues. This motherfucker ain't shit. Nah, because you said you only go by what's said. You see how he leaving out and shown? And it didn't say infinite strength and growth on the manga and website. So you're assuming actually. You see how you, you see how he's trying to play at using my logic, but yet he's failing miserably. You do understand that this info from the website came out in 2017, right? This is the comment I found out about two hours ago. So I implemented that shit because you're making it painfully, painfully, I meant to put obvious that you didn't know that, which very much proves my point that these two graphs are not the same. The creator already established that Saitama's strength was infinite long before this latest battle came to light in the manga. So ain't no context clues, nothing Saitama. So ain't no context clues, nothing. Saitama both has infinite strength and no limit to his growth. How? They still correlate. Why? Both refer to Saitama's infinite power. It just means that Saitama has always had infinite power in the sense that he rises infinitely. No duh. The gra That's the whole source why he's so strong. Nah. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. That graph was made in 2017 straight up Showing us strength with affinity symbol. Clear and cutting to the point. Way before. This was back in 2017. It's the year 2022. So kind of with me. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Five fucking years. Five freaking years. Five freaking years. I wish I knew about this website back then. I wish I knew. I'd have been made a video about this. But now this dude is trying to spin it as, oh, what that website really meant is in a sense of infinite growth. No, bitch. You're literally changing what the website says and shows. Your games are getting you absolutely nowhere. All you're doing is wasting time. The graph on the website came out in 2017, let us know that Saitama's strength was already infinite. And with this new info, it was revealed that his power never stops growing. So it's literally confirmed that he has infinite strength and no limit to his growth. All of your mindless games are getting you nowhere and all your comments are going on a YouTube video. The typical response of prideful people. Oh, of course I'm fucking prideful, especially when I know I'm, I'm fucking right. Moving on, yes, it was already infinite. That's literally Saitama's power. Just because the manga now revealed that for us doesn't mean he didn't always have that. Otherwise, you're arguing Saitama didn't get his powers till that exact chapter. Shut the fuck up. Stop projecting. That's not what I'm arguing. No, you're literally taking that information as infinite as his power never stops growing infinitely when that is not what the graph says. One graph literally shows his strength being infinite while another years later in the most recent battle shows that his power never stops growing. Stop trying to imply that they are the same. You're literally implying that he just has infinite growth when that is not what the older graph displays. Well, the graph doesn't say infinite strength. Yes, the fuck it does and growth yet you're saying he has both one graph says infinite strength 
with the infinity symbol. Fast forward five years later, the latest graph also proves that he has infinite growth. Stop sitting here talking about some. I'm talking about both graphs saying no, they don't. I'm saying one graph says one thing and another says another. So once again, you're using double standards. Ain't no double standards here, dumbass. Anyways, yes, it does. It shows it through the graph in the manga. That's not what I'm arguing. You just made that up and projected that onto me. You're literally denying that he has both infinite strength and infinite growth, both being infinite. Again, well, the graph doesn't say infinite strength and growth, yet you're saying he has both. So once again, you're using double standards. Anyway, yes, it does. It shows it through the graph in the manga. I said one graph shows strength with the infinity symbol by it, and the most recent graph shows Saitama power skyrocketing, and even said his growth went unnoticed the entire time. So no, ain't no double standard here. Like I said, your mind games get you nowhere. Saitama does not have a limiter, and based on other information that he is able to take himself down from yesterday, it's proof that his power literally never stops growing. So when you combine all of this information, Saitama both has infinite strength and limitless growth. Stop sitting here with your mind games talking about some the graphs don't show that or display that because they do. You've lost this argument a long time ago. You're only wasting time at this point. Nah, it is double standards because you said you only go by what's said and it was never... No, I said I go by what's said and shown. I don't know how many times I corrected him. I lost count. And it was never said strength and growth. So point stands. Bro, I literally explained to this man what I actually meant. And he's doubling down on his ignorance talking about one graph never said both. When I clearly made it clear that one graph said one thing and another graph said another. That's how I came to the conclusion that he has both. But yet he's doubling down like I didn't make that clear. Yes, his power never stops growing. Glad you agree with my point. Fuck off. Games you've lost, all typical responses are prideful people. All typical responses of moronic people like you. Stop telling bold face lies. You're literally proving that you don't actually read what I say. I said I go by what's said and shown. Pay attention. I go by what's said and shown. That's what I said earlier, but here you are talking about some. I only go by what's said. Stop your nonsense. In 2017, they made it clear that Saitama's strength is infinite. And most recently, they made it clear that his power never stops growing. So going off of all of the information, he literally has infinite strength and limitless growth. You doubling down on your mind games, cherry picking, what I say only proves that you lost. Remember when I said, remember when I, when I said I go by what's said and shown? Remember this? This is the comment I'm talking about. No, you didn't. So that's a lie right there. My guy, the comments are here. Mind games, cherry picking, just more responses of a man whose ego is crumbling. Anyways, all the information is just context clues for his infinite strength. Get the fuck out. You're using headcanon to make it mean two things. Ain't no headcanon here. The graphs are literally five years apart from each other. You still have it debunked that they both talk about his infinite strength. One graph shows his power growing infinitely and one graph straight up says his strength is infinite. Like this, this shit is so simple and to the point. But you got you, you got this moron here talking about some. Oh, it's just referring to infinite growth. Bitch, how sway? When this, when this graph first came out in 2017, it said nothing about growth. Straight up strength with the infinity symbol by it. That's it. Simple and to the point. So you talking about some, oh, the latest 
graph is referring to the 2017 graph as infinite growth, not strength. When it literally says strength, bitch, you full of it. You still haven't debunked that. They both talk about his infinite strength. Yes, I did. It's literally up in the comment thread, and I literally screenshot all the comments here. Even the one you just made, now you're the one that's using hand cannon. The 2017 graph says strength, and it shows infinity symbol. While the latest graph literally just shows Saitama Prof skyrocketing. You sitting here talking about the 2017 graph simply means infinite strength, as in infinite growth, is you overriding what the graph actually says. No matter what you say, that graph isn't going to magically change into what you want it. And with the latest edition, it proves that Satama Power never stops growing. His strength is infinite and his strength is limitless. And his growth is limitless. Unlike you, I'm not using the information to change what the graph literally says or shows. That's you trying to do that. I accept your concession. The information says what it says. You're the one that's using headcanon to change the meaning. And you've been debunked a long time ago. Well, at least that's one thing you're right about. What you said is definitely up in the comments. Oh, wow. I also screenshot them. So that's one thing we have in common. Yeah, I already said he has infinite strength. So saying Saitama has infinite strength is headcanon now? You see the fucking mind games this man is trying to play? I really don't like people like this. Yeah, the latest graph shows Saitama infinite strength, which is why he was rising higher and higher. Thanks. Well, it's a good thing the graph doesn't change. I need it to stay because it proves my point. Nope, you've lost. You literally said earlier that Saitama only has infinite growth and based on the context, that's what the graph means when it displays the strength with the infinity symbol. It's referring to infinite growth. That's what you've been arguing for this entire time. It's up in the comments. Everything has been screenshot. So don't sit here and make it sound as if you are arguing that Saitama just had straight up infinite strength as in the literal sense infinite. I'm going to enjoy expo exposing this nonsense. Yes, Infinite strength, as I've agreed with multiple times. Infinite strength as shown when he keeps going higher and higher. Like, are you actually just losing it now? Or what? Because I never once said Satama didn't have infinite strength. And we come back full circle. This is why I don't hardly be arguing with people in the comment section anymore. Because it's full of clowns like this. I saw your short. I didn't mean to upset you. Nah, bitch, you did. You did. And I'm not upset. I'm annoyed. It's been years since I actually felt the emotion upset. It's been years since I felt that emotion. Fucking years. But I've experienced annoyance. For a long time. I'm feeling that emotion. Right fucking now. This is just as a, as annoying. As you're telling. Your freaking. Niece. That's about a cup. That's about two years old. Hey stop poking that. And they continue to freaking. Keep poking it. At the end told them. Don't poke it. And they keep doing anyway. So it's like. That's the type of annoyance. I'm feeling right here. That that That's the level of annoyance. I'm feeling right here. I saw your short. I didn't mean to upset you. And test your patience. Bitch. Didn't mean to. What a bold faced lie. However, I'm not going to budge. Yeah, you're not going to budge on your wrong stance. I have every right and evidence to say that it's context clues. No, the fuck it's not. It's simple and to the point. It says what it is. You're trying to override that with the information that's in the manga. One graph came out in 2017 and another graph came out in 2022. These graphs are not the same. Saitama's strength is infinite as the manga shows it rising higher and higher. And then you have the website as more supporting evidence. My God, 
You're literally implying that the website don't know what the fuck it's talking about. And that what it actually meant, as in it actually meant growth. This, this, this is what the fuck you've been arguing. You talk too much. You only dug your own hole deeper and deeper. Let me start making your video right now. Sweet Jesus. An hour and five fucking minutes. Oh, you're making another one? Well, I still stand by what I said. I have every right and evidence to say what I said. My guy, the first video wasn't specifically about you, but this video will be. Too late to apologize now. I made sure to go out of my way to understand the information for what it is. If you had any knowledge, you would know that there are other characters in fiction who have infinite power, but yet their power still grows at the same time. What you've been doing is trying to override one ground with the other. And ain't no way I ain't going to expose your nonsense when you've wasted this much of my time. I'm not apologizing for debating. I know you're not apologizing for debating. You're apologizing for testing my fucking patience. Apology not accepted. I still mean every word of what I said and I'll keep arguing with it. I was apologizing for making you upset. Yep, like like I said. But I was never upset. Now, if you said you apologize for annoying the fuck out of me, maybe then I would accept your apology. Because right now I'm annoyed as fuck. So calm down. Never tell somebody who's annoyed as fuck to calm down. You're only going to escalate the fucking situation. Trying to be nice here, so don't ruin it with your pride. Fuck you. I don't fuck about you trying to be nice. Nothing about what you were saying came across as you being nice. But everything that you were saying and how you doubled down on your saying came across you as being a fucking dick. An asshole, a clown, trying to be nicer, bitch don't play at me. Secondly, when did you start debating? Because I've been doing this since early 2000s. I've had to make so many accounts because they would get messed up due to all the debates. I know what fictional characters can do, bro. Apparently you don't, and I'm not your bro. Point is, Saitama has infinite power in the sense that he grows. It's still infinite. It's just not infinite in the way you're claiming. And I have no reason to budge from my stance. Well, it's getting late and I haven't received a response yet. So we'll continue. No, we ain't continuing. Shit. You haven't received a response yet because I've been making your goddamn video for 67 minutes straight. This is the bullshit that I deal with. You're trying to override one graph with another that that's literally what you're trying to do like i said i am going to dedicate a video showing you characters who literally have infinite power but their shit still grows dude we're done here i don't want to make this video any longer than it is and i'd be surprised if somebody makes it to the end if you made it to the end, say, Sasuke rules. And Naruto only won because of plot. Nah, Naruto didn't actually win because of plot, though. He was just naturally stronger. Screw it. Change it to Saitama Stumps. And I know you made it to the ending of the video. There's no reward here this time, but hell, it is what it is.